So, <laughs> I guess it's time to make more videos. I was looking at my YouTube and I don't really have anything scheduled, so that means I gotta talk a bit. Maybe it'll be good for me. I'm not too sure. My mental health has really been bad for like a year. Uh, I stopped streaming for almost a year about like, oh, maybe it's been worse for two years or so. I think it all started when the pandemic started and my circle got so much smaller and it just continued to shrink and now it's irrelevant. Or I feel irrelevant. People moved on with their lives because their lives went back to normal and I'm still here stagnant and stuck in a situation that I cannot escape. I feel empty at times and very alone. I know I have people on the internet that I can talk to, but when I shut everything off, I'm all by myself. And it's hard. It's hard to like get up and sometimes want to get up and sometimes like making myself do things and the things that brought me so much joy before I feel so numb towards. I feel nothing at times. I know a lot of it is because of the complex post-traumatic stress disorder and living with that unmedicated because I can't take the medication because I'm allergic to it all which I've talked about before. And I tried to reach out to this ketamine clinic because they were the last hope that I had getting some sort of help with my mental health and they can't do anything for me. I can't take ketamine because I have high blood pressure. It can cause heart attack or stroke for me and because I have mast cell activation on top of everything, I could have an allergic reaction. So I'm stuck in mental health limbo, alone, because there's nothing in the system to help me. This is what drives me to pursue psychology. Because I'm not the only one that can't take everything that's out there for everyone else. So I have felt like giving up, like stopping everything, but I still push forward, trying to make some sort of normalcy for myself in this world that is far from whatever the fuck normal is. And so I wait in this medical limbo, hoping that someday there's something that's going to help me or help other people like me to be able to heal themselves. I only have the option of doing talk therapy now. That's it. <laughs> there's nothing else. And while I appreciate other people's suggestions or, you know, thoughts of intervention or whatever, trust me, at this point I've tried everything. Like everything. Between myself and my doctors, I've tried everything. To the point where trying those things has landed me in the hospital in the past, has caused major allergic reactions, has caused worsening mental health state of mind. And I thought that I had hope to keep going, but when it comes to looking for something that's going to fix me, I don't think there's anything right now that can do that other than myself and working towards trying to do what's best for me. So I'll keep trying to stream. I'll keep trying to make content because it was helping me before. Even though I feel very alone,
I wonder what it would be like <laughs> to have a group of friends that would hang out with me. But I dare not entertain the thought of having that in physicality because it will not happen. It's been three years, maybe four. And all of those people from before, I don't even think I crossed their minds at all. Living life with chronic illness and with mental health stuff is hard. And when people don't even try to update their perspective to try to even understand a fragment of what you're going through, it can make you feel as though your life is meaningless. And I know my life is not that. I know my life has some sort of meaning. I know I have some sort of purpose. And I want to help other people like me. And because I want to help other people like me, that is what keeps driving me forward to do everything that I am doing. Even though at times I really want to give up. I really just want to... I want to quit everything and kind of just disappear from the internet. But I know that'll make me worse. I know that I'll feel worse than I do now. And I've tried for years to explain to people what it's like to live with complex post-traumatic stress and I feel like I'm screaming into a void and no one's grasping it. Perhaps I'm not wording it properly. Perhaps I'm not explaining it good enough. <sighs> I feel frozen in my body so much lately that I just can't do things. And I hate it. I hate it so much. I want to be able to escape my mind so bad. I want to be able to just forget everything that's happened to me. But I can't. Because that's not how trauma works. So I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying to do therapy. Keep trying to get out of this state of mind and maybe someday I can help people to feel seen and heard and understood because it's the worst feeling to be suffering and have no one acknowledge it have people to tell you to just be positive have people ignore what you're actually feeling? Burying it all down and not talking about it is something I used to do all of the time. But when you do that, it has nowhere to go and eventually it just bubbles up and bubbles out of you and onto everyone around you. So you need to talk, you need to write it down, you need to do something to cope with it. And even though I don't want to do talk therapy all of the time, I have to. Because being frozen in moments of time in the past, where the trauma is, I don't want that to last forever. I don't want to get stuck there permanently. I really don't. I'm so angry with myself for allowing other people to treat me like garbage. For them showing me their own worth by projecting it onto me. I'm allowing people to re-traumatize me. But I need to forgive myself. I have a lot of work to do on me. And I will continue to try, even though I feel, like I said, like giving up.
Thanks for watching my video. It's not happy. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not sorry for that. Because I'm not happy all the time. No human being is. And putting out this facade into the world that happiness is the only way of being human is falsifying this imaginary world that people have created. It's like the whole idea of a happy ending in life. Those things don't exist. The reality of life is things are hard and tough and challenging and joyful and filled with happiness, but it doesn't mean that each of those things lasts. Everything is continuously moving in motion, and so we're not always going to feel happy, we're not always going to feel sad, we're not always going to feel angry, we're not always going to feel joy. <laughs> But we must, we must not do this toxic positivity bullshit where we tell people not to talk about what they're feeling. Because that's, that's toxic positivity and what it is to a T. I encourage people to talk. When we stop talking, that's when we start bottling. And bottling does us more harm. I should probably go. <coughs> Take good care of you and do something good for yourself. And thank you for listening to me.